so good to have you in art class with me. This first project is going to be one of those standalone lessons. A lot of what we'll be doing this semester will continue on from uh, one lesson to the next. There's going to be a unit on 2D design, on drawing. This particular one is just uh, one lesson by itself. Just something fun to do with dry pastels and trying to imitate a beautiful part of God's creation. Aurora Borealis is the subject for this project. Now, do you know what that is? What ha Have you ever seen the Aurora Borealis? What's another name for that? Yeah, the Northern Lights. Now, if a beautiful display of God's uh, glory and, and uh, wonder. So we're going to do one of those using dry pastels, like I said. Ready to get started? All right, let's go. Supplies that you're going to need for this will be a, a sheet of this uh, 12 by 18 white drawing paper. You can have a pencil also, just a regular number two pencil. A pair of scissors, and then uh, a box of these um, dry pastels. I have a set of 24 uh, in this box. It's uh, You can buy the 12 pack. It doesn't really matter. You have a, a array of colors and you can mix, mix these also um, uh, to get different colors when you blend them together. But it has to be the dry pastel. These are not oil pastel. Two different things. Let's get started with the uh, the project now. First thing to do is you'll need to draw a uh, a horizon line that is going to create a silhouette, so to speak, of the land. This needs to be very simple. I know that when you start to draw, you're thinking drawing and you're not thinking cutting. You're going to have to be able to cut this line out. And believe me, when it comes time for doing trees or something like that, the it's much harder to cut than it is to draw a line. So think very simply as you do this. I'm going to just do a, a, a simple a contour line that describes this uh, um, landscape. Come out here for a hill. I'm going to put a tree here. I'm not going to put a trunk down. I'm just going to go up, make a couple of sides of an evergreen tree those just those points I'm gonna go down the other side and do the same thing there's no need to put a trunk on there because that is gonna to be too hard to cut out and when you're doing the smudging it's going to end up uh, hooking it on those edges and creating a problem now this is just a cabin here I'm just uh, making a, a a little house with a lean-to on the side. Make another tree here. Same simple type of Christmas tree looking shape. Avoiding a narrow. Once I have that pastel applied, then I can bring my good paper over I can line up this uh, the stencil any place. I can bring it down a little bit lower as a matter of fact and I'm going to do that. I take the tissue, I wad it up into a ball and now I hold the stencil sheet down and I smudge into the positive space.
And that's it for our project. I enjoyed working with you on this, and uh, I hope you have fun doing your Aurora Borealis dry pastel silhouette.